on YouTube. This is the very latest news from Fabulous 103 and the Fabulous Patio Media Group. It would be great if you liked and subscribed to us. Good news for travellers in the future as the Immigration Bureau announced plans that could see passing through passport control at Bangkok's main airport reduced to a tiny 45 seconds and yet still maintaining full security. The latest system is in use in other countries already and could be here as soon as 2026 as officials prepare for ever-increasing foot traffic through the barriers. 120,000 passengers pass daily through Bangkok and in the high season that's expected to rise to 135,000. Current auto systems are working very well already and the queue time is much reduced to a matter of a few minutes for those without passport or visa issues. Close to Chonburi, a pickup driver was lucky to escape with his life after gas tanks that he was carrying in the back exploded as he drove to deliver them. Fire teams worked to cool the tanks for 45 minutes, aware that they could well have exploded at any time. And it's been assumed that a faulty tank cap caused a leak that developed into a fire. The pickup was destroyed. The driver was left severely burned and in urgent need of hospitalisation. He remains in ICU this morning. Good news for smokers in Thailand, as fag packets will soon carry a unique QR code that will allow smokers to scan and confirm if the contents are genuine and also whether taxes have been paid on them. For the state, the issue has long been illegally imported cigarettes that look like the real deal but are manufactured cheaply in other countries close by. For the smoker, the issue has often been that they pay for the real thing but get fakes which often taste foul and end users are actively encouraged to scan and report any contraband tobacco. Meanwhile at home, and Pattaya City Police were extremely quick to arrest a thief who robbed a Pratumnak apartment. With an Australian woman reporting the loss of 3.5 million bahts worth of watches and jewellery, police scoured the CCTV of the building and area, spotting a young man leaving with the swag. Officers followed his movements and he was soon arrested in central Pattaya with all his ill-gotten gains still on his person. Just 14 years old, according to official reports, the Lao National was being held through the weekend. Pending further reports, this as he already has a recent history of theft in the region. Pattaya City Hall team spent most of Saturday out and about collecting the remains of the previous evening's Loi Kratong rubbish. Beaches, ponds and rivers were duly cleared of the model boats that had carried the wishes of their owners out to the waters. All in all, a very busy weekend for the city, as many domestic tourists came for the celebrations here, seeing room rates rising steeply for both days. Once the fire brigade had doused flames in the Tapria Road condo on Sunday, officials quickly moved in to assess the cause, thought to have been poor wiring. Whilst the condo itself was unoccupied, numerous other guests were safely evacuated from their rooms, but of much greater concern to the authorities, the reported failure of a sprinkler system due to a lack of sufficient water pressure. This according to local sources. If that's the case, then the condo operators have an urgent task on their hands, and for other condos, the warning's out. Test your fire suppression systems and don't just assume that they're working. This is the Met Office is promising highs today of 31 degrees, dropping down to 26. A partially sunny day with a lot of humidity and the chance of showers at any time. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme. Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.